Kuiper, and I don't know anything about caviar, and that's what makes me the caviar virgin. I'm Grace Piper and I am the Caviar Virgin and I'm here to learn about caviar and I have an expert here with me. And my name is Alfred Yazbek and I'm here to teach Grace a little bit about caviar. She's the I expert. Think. Uh, so this is episode two and we left off with these two caviars and maybe you could go through what these two caviars were again so I remember. This we is have, salmon. We right? have salmon caviar and this salmon is from the caviar. Pacific Northwest. Okay. This particularly is actually from Hood's Canal. Um, and it's, is that it, a good place for caviar? Well, <laughs> you know, all of that whole area is very good for caviar, and this yeah. particular caviar uh, is delicious. So yes, Hoods Canal produces uh, salmon that produce great caviar. Um, this is Caitlin caviar from Iceland, a great affordable caviar, nice, mild tasting caviar that is so accessible to everybody, not just those. Like who what's can affordable afford though? We're talking. Well, $3. this you could buy actually 20. for. You could get for anywhere from two ninety nine to oh. five ninety nine on the grocery shelf, and this is a hundred grams. Oh. Um, I think of caviar as being you know hundred dollars, two hundred. Right, and I think up. that's what everyone thinks. Yeah, and that's I, not necessarily true. For instance, salmon caviar. Um, you know, I'm not. I, I'm not a retailer, but <laughs> salmon caviar usually sells for somewhere around eight or nine dollars for two or three ounces uh, okay. in a store, not in a restaurant. Um, and you know I've never had caviar. Well, I haven't had caviar since I was maybe 14. So, so this is a great time. You're going to try all, all of these five that we have on the table. Okay. And this is, you know, all of these are great examples of um, you know, the variances of caviar. Yeah. So they all taste different. They all taste different. They all have their little nuances. Okay. Obviously they have, you know, different visuals. Look at the difference between yeah, that's so, salmon caviar. So pretty. And look at this. This is Ocetra caviar. This is farmed Ocetra. And look how different, yeah. you know, it is from the salmon caviar. But right, both are delicious. What kind of fish is that from? The this is from an Ocetra sturgeon. A sturgeon, okay. And uh, as is this savruga, which is from a savruga sturgeon. Okay. And I'm going to get into all of that in a minute. Yeah. And this is paddlefish caviar. This is from a fish, a river fish in the United States called paddlefish. Wow, in the U.S.? Uh-huh. In the river? Oh, and it's right. delicious. Oh, it's really good. And as you can see, it's very similar to that of Savruga. It is. Yeah, they look they look a lot alike. Yeah. Mm, interesting. So, Grace, why don't you lead us down the road here? What okay. are we going to do? Well, I think we should eat. Okay, that's <laughs> um, a good idea. I'm not sure which one to start with. You... Well, why don't we start I... with Ocetra? Why don't you, um, oh, okay. if you don't mind, butter sure. your... Butter, okay, uh, so this is how we eat. Caviar. So yeah, I, that's something I wanted to point so you, out is that. Can the, you get at the uh, bread? Oh, oh, so we're just doing one for me to start off with? Yeah, You have to eat it too, though. Oh, I will definitely right, doing a whole lot. This one is for you. you. Okay, that's one. Ladies before gentlemen. Okay. Um, so why the butter? Well, that's what I was just going to talk about. The butter is a. It highlights the flavor of the caviar. It's a nice, neutral, rich, Thank you. <laughs> buttery. I just looked for this. Um, <laughs> background to the you know to the strong taste of caviar okay and instead of putting onions and parsley and all of the stuff that the people tend to put on a caviar I truly believe the most simplest way is the best way to eat caviar i.e. butter a nice poached egg or um, boiled egg you just put a nice big dollop of caviar on that you break it open okay the egg is oozing, and you put that nice cold caviar on there. The, the combination. Right, so you want the focus to be on the caviar, on the caviar. not all the exactly. accoutrements. And you know, by the way, an egg is you know it, it's got the membrane and the you know the protein right. of, <laughs> of caviar, so it really enhances it. Yeah. That makes sense. So should we try it? Okay. Here we go. Let's go. This is perfect. I mean, it's just delicious. Wow. That is really good. Right? Yeah. I love it. Right? I didn't think I would, to be honest with you. I was ready to do the fake, woo, delicious. No, this is really good. Can I eat more? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, wait till you try hmm. these. It's Which one is this? Uh, this is an Ocetra. Wow. This comes from an Ocetra sturgeon. You know, it's really creamy. Right? And Yeah. Actually, this doesn't taste fishy to me at all. And yeah. I was, I, I like, oh, wait, now way. I just got like an aftertaste a little bit. But you know. Really good. And I mean that in a good way, not like, not a, no. Caviar should not taste fishy. Mm. So when people say, 
I went to a reception the other day, mm -hmm. and I had caviar, and it was really disgusting. It was mm -hmm. salty and fishy. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's supposed to be. So, whoever served that caviar at the, re the reception wow. served caviar that was substandard. Mm -hmm. Caviar is a good, good Keep food. Keep going. I'm eating. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> let's jump into Savruga now. Mm. May I, you want to do the sure. uh, yellow? Sure, that was good. Sure. All right, I'm, I need to stop eating the entire No. If you see Savruga, by the way, Osetra is usually nut brown or it's got a green or a gold hue to it. Savruga in its best form like this is gray. It's perfect, it's gray. Yeah, it's and a it's, color, uh, but it's sort of almost silver. And that's the way it should be. Hmm. This is exciting for me. Overcoming another fear. <laughs> okay, Shall go. You? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> This is as it should taste. It's got, um, it tastes like hazelnut and- It does. Ocean, and this is exactly yeah, how it Yeah, very uh, briny, mm -hmm. like shellfish Should almost. we cleanse our palate with vodka? Vodka, yes. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Now I can see why okay. you would have vodka with your caviar. Right? Good call. That's <laughs> what it does for you. Yeah. So this is, we're going to go right, now into paddlefish caviar. Okay. Um, this is the one from the river. Right. Which is odd. And this is American caviar. And this is what, by the way, when you go to uh, markets and you see American caviar on the shelf, yeah. it's usually paddlefish caviar. Sometimes it can be American sturgeon, which is hackleback in most cases. Um, but we're, we're tasting paddlefish right now. Paddlefish. Okay. And this is not a sturgeon. This is a... Um, this is a freshwater fish. Fish, correct. Okay. Mm. Mm. What do you think? It's a little bitter. Like Again, a almost like arugula bitter. Which, and it's bitter it because it's a, a freshwater fish. Oh. Um, Freshwater fish, mm -hmm. even the flesh of freshwater fish, has a bitter taste because it oh. it feeds on basically, you know, near the bottom of the river, which is money. And that's what you're getting in the in the eggs and the flesh. Oh, which is why if you eat catfish or tilapia, it has that flavor. Yeah, I'm actually less of a fan of catfish. That's, that's probably right. why. Oh, and then okay. if you eat ocean fish <laughs> like salmon or sturgeon or mm. well, sturgeon is really not an ocean fish, but a more open water mm. um, fish that stays in a body of water that's constantly flowing and you know um, yeah. cleansing, you get a clean flavor. This capelin, which we'll try next, I think, okay. the bread. has an unbelievably clean flavor, unbelievably clean aftertaste. So this is in the open ocean then. That's correct. I mean, this is there's nothing more open than the northern Atlantic. Okay. <laughs> So why are we having vodka with caviar that sort of well, tiny, tiny little eggs? Yeah, it's a great garnish and great to put yeah, on that pastas. Must be pretty. Beautiful, you know. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Okay, first bite. Shall we? Mm. 